Hi guys, I am Swati and I welcome you to Indian Folk. In this video today, I will be talking about the results of the 43rd Canadian uh, federal elections and what the results reflect about the political scenario in contemporary political context of Canada. Well, uh, the Canadian general elections, uh, which were a rather vicious season of campaigning, uh, which was filled with scandals more than policies, has finally concluded and the Liberals led by the incumbent Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has won the elections with about 157 seats out of the total of 338 seats in the House of Commons in Canada. Uh, the 147 one is about 13 seats short of a majority and that is precisely why the Liberals are forming a minority government uh, uh, after these elections. Now when we talk about the results as compared to the results of the previous elections of 2015, we see that the Liberals have lost about 20 seats and the main rivals or the opposition, that is the Conservatives, have won or added about 26 seats. When we talk about how this government is going to be a minority government, Prime Minister Trudeau is expected to receive assistance from the New Democratic Party led by Mr. Jagmeet Singh. Uh, this will not be a very smooth ride because this government being a minority government might have to go through a lot of negotiations and compromise. Now when we talk about the Liberal Party, it is one of the most old and longest serving party in Canada. Uh, in fact, the Liberal Party has dominated federal politics in Canada for such a long period that it is often referred to as the natural governing party. When we talk about the strategic and standard policies and legislations of the Liberal Party, we see that it propagates universal health care, uh, national pension plans, student loans, legalization of same-sex marriages, of euthanasia, cannabis, etc. It has also propagated multiculturalism, multilateralism in international relations and also official bilingualism. We also see that the Liberal Party has propagated a national carbon, pol uh, na national carbon policy and also it talks about reproductive choice. Therefore, we see that the Canadian, Prime, uh, the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has appealed to the people in the last weeks of the campaigning phase by calling out to the progressive voters and asking them to not divide their votes among the New Democratic Party or the Green Party, which might lead to a win by the Conservative Party. And uh, it was a rather humble victory for the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who has received a second term. We see that uh, this election has been called one of the nastiest campaigning seasons in Canadian elections and uh, when we compare it to other uh, campaigning phases in countries like USA or India, we see that uh, this nastiness is still comparatively less, this aggressiveness is still comparatively more sober because uh, we need to understand this context uh, in the context of Canada and how people in Canada are considered to be one of the most polite around the world. And uh, the election season is also capped uh, at about 50 days and it is not allowed to be longer than that. Therefore, we see that even as it is called one of the nastiest uh, political campaigning season with most number of scandals uh, attacked at the Prime Minister himself, we see that it is still less, uh, uh, less embroiled in controversies than several elections around the world. And uh, we've already mentioned that this might not be a very smooth ride for the Prime Minister as this is uh, a minority government which will receive support from the New Democratic Party, the Bloc, Quebecois, etc. And therefore, we wish the Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, all the best for his second term. With that, uh, if you want to watch more informative videos, please uh, stay tuned to our page, Indian Folk. Thank you.